Keith, what's going on? Huh? What's wrong, Mandy? We're traveling together. And you are texting me? I thought we were going on a trip as a couple. Why am I being left alone? What are you talking about? We are on the same train. We're sitting way too far apart. Also, why are your parents here? What's wrong with my parents? This trip was supposed to be in place of our honeymoon. We were too busy with work right after we got married. Well, that was the plan at first. Dad and Mom wanted to come with us. I don't see why we can't bring them. It's more fun with more people. We're going on a family vacation this time. If you're going to make it a family trip with a bunch of people, I should have brought my parents too. That's not how it works. Why not? You are my wife now. You and your parents aren't family anymore. Of course we are. Marriage doesn't change the fact that we're family. And the train we're on now? You guys are sitting together in the premium seats. Why do I have to sit alone in a different car? Why did you kick me out? I'm the only one not allowed to sit in the premium. I don't have a choice. My mom needs a seat for two. Don't complain about every little thing. I don't understand why you and I are seated separately. You're lucky you got to sit. It's a crowded train. You know, I feel so empty being alone in the middle of nowhere. You guys are chatting and smiling. We can do things together once we get off the train. I don't understand why we are here with your parents in the first place. We were supposed to be on a trip alone. Don't you like my father and mother? It's not that I don't like them. Then why don't you just go on vacation with them? Mom wanted us to move in with them, but we wanted to have our own place. This trip is a way of apologizing and showing our appreciation. Look, that's not what I'm talking about. I wanted to enjoy this trip with just you. I enjoy it more with Mom and Dad. What? Isn't it great to be able to come on a trip with parents you don't normally see? I mean... They're only a 15-minute drive away. You visit them all the time. Whatever the case, you're already here with them, so don't complain now. We can always take a trip again. We've been too busy. We finally made it happen this time. We had to work so hard to take these days off. If we miss this opportunity, I don't know when we'll be able to go. Then why don't you quit your job? Huh? You're the one who chose to keep working after we got married. That's why we couldn't make it happen. I can't quit my job so easily. Do you know how hard I worked to get the job I have now? That's it. What? You became my wife, and all you do is assert yourself like that. That's why mom and dad hate you. I don't know if you think you're a superwoman or what. Don't be a snob just because you get paid more than I do. I'm not. Nope. I know why you are still working. You want me to realize the fact that you make more. Wow. I don't know what to say to you. Mandy, will you please stop this? You've been complaining about Keith for a while now. You're ruining our fun family vacation. Marge, have you been reading all my texts? I had a look at all of them. I can't believe you snooped on his phone. That's not a very nice thing to say. Keith was the one who showed it to me. He told me you've been complaining a lot. I see. Well, I don't mind if you read them. Oh. Oh. So you're just going to be like that? You're still the same cocky wife. What's wrong with us coming along on this trip? You've got a chance to show some appreciation. You should be grateful. Show some appreciation? 
That's right. You and Keith, we supported you guys a lot. I wonder if that's true. I don't know about Keith, but I don't remember you taking care of me. What? We're the ones taking care of you guys. We help you guys with cleaning, shopping, etc. And we send $1,500 every month. I get so frustrated when I talk to you. I'd like to end this now. I'll make this short. What do you mean? You know what? We have one room reserved, so you're going to have to stay outside. What? Wait a minute. Didn't you guys get a room? I was going to do so. After all, it was too late that we couldn't reserve one. Keith also tried to get us a reservation, but all the rooms were full. Oh no. So, what are you going to do? You mean the three of us are staying in a twin room? That's what I meant. Keith negotiated with the hotel. They put an extra bed in the twin room, so that the three of us can stay in a twin room. Huh? But four people in a twin room would be too many. I can't do anything about this. Please stay somewhere else. It was supposed to be my trip. I'll be left out again, won't I? Oh, Keith says he'd be okay with that too. He's happy to be able to spend some time with us. If you can't find a hotel, why don't you stay at a hostel or something? Don't regret it. Huh? No, it's nothing. Mandy, I think Mom told you, but find yourself a hotel tonight. I'm stunned. You guys are showing each other your texts. We are family. I don't mind showing my texts. They say you were sassy to talk to them like that. Both Mom and Dad were unhappy. Okay. Then I'll just do whatever I want by myself during this trip. What? You're prioritizing your mother and father. That means you don't want to hang out with me, right? No. It's just that the train and the hotel happen to be separate. We'll meet on the platform when we get off the train. And then we'll just check into the hotel, right? You know... What's the point of meeting up on the platform if we're going to be staying at different hotels? Then you will be alone. I feel sorry for you. You don't need to worry about that. Oh, come on. Don't be so angry. We're staying in different places. We'll meet up somewhere in the morning and go sightseeing together. It's a family trip, right? It was supposed to be our trip. We'll just do it another time. That's enough. My head is starting to hurt. Huh? Anyway, don't worry about me. Mandy? I'm sure your parents are reading this anyway. Bye. What? Mandy, where did you go? I just went to check your seat and you weren't there. Don't tell me you got off the train. Hey, pick up the phone. I'm calling so many times. What the hell? Why are you so mad at me? Don't tell me you got off the train. We're on a fun family vacation today. You're so selfish. Are you ignoring me? Okay, whatever. If you're going to be so stubborn, I'll have fun with my mom and dad. Hey Mandy, I'm home now. We went sightseeing and the spa. I enjoyed this trip with my parents. Are you out somewhere? 
I haven't heard from you since you said you were going by yourself. Maybe you're still traveling alone? Hi, Keith. Ah, finally got a reply. I got some gifts for you. Hurry up and come home. I'm not going home. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you still upset about the hotel? You'd better not. I'll take you on a trip sometime soon. Soon? What are you talking about? What? I'm all done. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Your stuff is missing from home. Oh, you finally noticed. Don't tell me you ran away from home. I didn't want to be with you. No, no, no. You're overreacting. Don't be so stubborn. Just come home. Overreacting? We planned this trip as a married couple's getaway. Not only did you bring your mother and father without permission, you made me sit by myself on the train. Then, you made me stay at a different hotel. I don't think I'm overreacting. I just want you to realize something. What? I brought mom and dad along for a reason. A reason? To make you realize your position as my wife. What? You're my wife, but you make more money than I do. You're not even fulfilling the role of a wife. What's the wife's role? To serve me and my parents. What? What era are you from? Look, I'm the oldest son. Mom and dad expect me to have a son. And you're too busy working. You don't want to have kids at all. That's none of their business to decide if we want kids or not. We agree that we won't have kids for a while because we're both busy with work. But I really wanted to have children as soon as possible. Mom and dad want to see their grandchildren too. You're my wife now. You should listen to my parents. Huh. Mom and dad are trying to fix your sassy personality. They're trying their best to make you a suitable wife for our family. Do you understand? And you're in favor of this educate the wife thing, aren't you? Yes, I do. You're too sassy. I'd like my parents to educate you for our future. What do you mean by sassy? What do you want me to do? I'm your wife, so I shouldn't be working. I'm your wife, so I shouldn't make more money than you do. I'm your wife, so I should obey you. I'm your wife, so I should give birth to your son. Like this? That's right. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't get it. What? I make more money than you because I'm in a job that has high income potential. Also, I'm putting in the effort to match it. They say I don't listen to you, but they tell me to stop working or to come and do housework on my days off. They demand for money every month and tell me to give birth to an heir as soon as possible. That's just unreasonable. What's wrong with you? You became a part of my family. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm not your wife anymore. What? I'm back at my parents' house now. What? Your parents' house? It means you and I are getting a divorce. Divorce? Yes. You should go back to your parents' house. You can live with your mommy and daddy. Going back to my parents? What do you mean? Can you pay for the apartment on your own? Well... I've been paying all the rent until now. But I don't live there anymore. I don't have to pay rent anymore, right? Damn it. Suit yourself. I'll divorce you if you insist. I'm getting rid of you. I'm going to live happily with my mom and dad. Mandy! I heard from Keith. Are you divorcing my son? I heard you moved out. I won't allow you to divorce without our permission. 
I won't allow you to do anything selfish. You're making a big fuss over the little things. You are my son's wife. You should go back home. I don't want to. I don't want to be married to an idiot who totally ruins my vacation. I am divorcing him no matter what. How dare you talk to me like that? You belong to my family. I don't. What did my son do to you? He just wanted to do something nice to us, that's all. Something nice to you? I know he wanted to educate me. And all of you agreed to do that. I know everything. You and your husband wanted me to become a suitable wife. That? Yes. We're trying to educate you to be a suitable wife for our family and be worthy of being our daughter-in-law. Your son told me the same thing. Yes. But that's just bullying and harassing. That's why I'm divorcing Keith. You three will get along. The three of us? What do you mean? Didn't he tell you? He can't pay the rent for the apartment on his salary. I'm sure he'll eventually come back to live with you guys. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, okay. I don't mind if he moves back home. He should get rid of a cocky wife like you. It's more fun to live with us at home. Of course, I'll stop sending money. Huh? I don't need your money. It was Keith who used to send us money every month, wasn't it? If he comes back to our house, he's going to pay for our living expenses. I was the one sending you money every month. Huh? That's not true. The money was always transferred in Keith's name. Yes, he made the transfers. But the $1,500 was from my money. My income is much higher than his. You know that, don't you? I knew that, but... He has a lot of pride. He wanted to pretend he was the one sending money home. That's... That's so funny. You can't live without my income. You're asking me to quit my job? Well, but from now on, good luck to you and your son. Wait. Wait a minute. Divorce is fine, but can you keep sending me money? If I divorce Keith, we're strangers. I don't owe you anything to send money to someone else's house. But... I'll have my lawyer proceed with a divorce. Goodbye. Wait! <coughs> Mandy, please! Mandy, can we talk? I have something I want to talk to you about. <coughs> You're supposed to be off work today, right? Please, pick up the phone. Hi, I'm at the store and can't answer the phone right now. What do you want? What store? I can't talk right now. Can we live together again? I can't live without you, and neither can my mother. I'm sorry I left you out of our trip. I know I told you to quit your job and listen to my mother. I'm sorry I said those horrible things. Can we talk? I'm sorry. I won't be able to contact you anymore. Huh? I'm at a cell phone shop right now. I'm going to sign a new contract and change my phone number and everything. Oh, hey. Oh, and just so you know, there's no point in barging into my parents' house. I've already moved into my new place. My father's going on a business trip overseas, and my mother's going with him, so they'll be gone for a while. Wait, please, let me talk. Well, you won't be able to text me or call me now. Bye. Mandy, wait. <coughs> Don't abandon me. Keith tried to get in touch with me. He went around asking all the relatives and friends he could think of for my contact information. Rumors that he and his in-laws were harassing me had already spread everywhere. He was not able to get any information from anyone. 
Both Keith and his parents were living on my income. After the divorce, of course, they were in financial trouble. Keith never recovered from the shock of the divorce. He left his job. Now they are living in an old house with Keith's parents' pension money. They are living in miserable poverty. I, on the other hand, am enjoying my life in a newly rented apartment. I'm now able to spend the money I earn freely. I plan to go on a trip with my good friends the next time I have a vacation. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.